this is Paul. Welcome back to my channel, The Peculiar Paladin. And today I want to do show you guys, you know, the review of you know Marvel's Daredevil. Uh, season one is out, and it's been out for a week now. And uh, I kind of binge watched the entire thing. It's just eight episodes, so it's like eight to nine hours. So if you can just watch it on your weekend, it will be really nice because I urge you, to, I urge you to watch the show because we kind of saw Marvel's success in TV shows. Uh, apart from movies, like they didn't kind of um, overwhelm with us, like you know, showcasing us like cameo from the movies or footage from the movies to just like showcase us like we are good in movies, so we are we will be good in TV shows as well. No, they didn't take that kind of approach, and also they didn't take an approach of like you know showing it as like a family friendly thing. You know, it's all fine and good, no blood, no sex. Um, they didn't do that when you when it comes to TV shows. When you saw the Daredevil first season, it was bloody as hell. And when you saw Jessica Jones, it was like filled with darkness. And when you saw Luke Cage thing as well, and Iron Fist as well. So every one of them had an individual uh, abilities, individual things, and they did everything on their own. And uh, every one of their story was really, really nice, really, really fun uh, to explore. Everyone was unique in their own ways. And to bring them to a center point and showcasing the show around it is really tough for any writers. But they did a good job with this episode. Obviously, there are positives, there are negatives. There's like um, some aspect of the show you'll be like, I should have changed that. I would have changed that. So everyone would have have their own opinion of this uh, thing. So it's fine. So I'm here. What I'm gonna do? Is this will go like um, I'll sub create a new playlist, you know, for your convenience. I'll do uh, two episodes sorry four episodes thing so like uh, in my channel there will be like two episodes dedicated to the entire series like one episode one to four in this video uh, four five to eight in the next episode so you can watch that after that you know after these two i'll talk about the positive things that they did right in this season the negative things that they did wrong in this season and also in the separate you know um, villains category villains playlist that i will create i'll talk about the hand because i cannot contemplate their evilness and their dedication to do bad things uh, in just one episode or you know i cannot do a review of that i cannot do justice to them that's what i'm saying so i'll talk about them separately and everything so without much further ado, let's just get into this episode 1 to 4 review. Um, before watching this, this is going to be full of spoilers. Everything from the show that happened and everything that in, happened in the 4 episodes will be here. So if you don't want to watch this, go watch the um, season. It's like 8 hours long. It's not that much. You know, just watch it and then come back here. See this review and tell me if you agree with my review and my viewpoint. And let's talk about what do you think they did right in this 4 episodes. What they did wrong in the 4 episodes on the comments section down below so without much further ado let's just get into it shall we so episode one will be the calmer one of the eight you know because obviously they want to introduce all these characters and they want to show you like okay he's doing that he's doing that he's doing that he's doing that and obviously they are going to meet up uh, in the end so that was really nice and i thought they would screw up on the screenplay or they would not do it right and they would try too much things with the screenplay the cameo times uh, you know every hero needs their you know sh times um, on the screen like uh, they need their fair share to do right to do justice to their characters uh, so i thought like marvel would you know give up under pressure and you know just do a random shits or extend their scenes without much needed there but they didn't do any of that they kind of like they didn't even try too much on the screenplay obviously like uh when they would like for example uh, the how i much your mother's screenplay type like one they would show here past present future they would like confuse things or they were like one hero one hero one hero just like no all that is not there so you'll easily understand the plot even though if you haven't seen the previous um seasons of these individual heroes just like when you watch avengers but you have not watched the previous movies you will understand Avengers and all the heroes' ideology, what they represent and what they really want to happen in the world. So that was really nice and that was really well done in this as well. So you would understand why Daredevil is like that. You would understand why Jessica Jones is like that. Or you would understand Luke Cage is that. Obviously, if you watch the previous um, seasons, you will easily uh, get into the hype of the season. But, you know, it's no rush. Some people have not watched those. Some people have not uh, would not have time to watch those. Uh, for those people, I'm saying this season, this first episode, if you just watch it, 
you will understand everything that has happened before so without much further ado the first episode of this uh, you know season would start by showing us Danny Rand you know the immortal iron fist fighting a random dude somewhere and he will be like uh, and he would be trying to save a random dude and then he will be like uh, you are fighting in the wrong place you know wrong time just go to new york city that's where the actual fight takes place and Danny Rand would also be the one who would fight the hand the evil organization of this season uh, and Daredevil season 2 so they will be the evil organization that Daredevil and I Immortal Iron Fist would have faced this would come in handy in the later stages of the season so keep uh, keep you know close eye on it because they too are like having a imaginary bond even without knowing it on chasing the you know the real bad guys the same bad guys that would be the first scene and so then Danny Rand and his and in this companion would you know prepare for the long journey to New York and they would be coming to New York and at the same time we would be showcasing New York where uh, Jessica Jones is a hero now uh, she kind of took down Kilgrave in the first season and every woman look up to her right now but she is still not a hero she doesn't want to be a hero uh, she's like still drinking she's like going through phases and she's not have uh, taken a case for a private investigation part so she's like you know just randomly there she's like drinking uh, you know her friend would be like you know wear a cape wear a superhero costume be a superhero and she doesn't want to do that and so they will be talking about it and she will be like no no I'm fine and then everything and we'll be showing Luke Cage and Luke Cage would be an interesting character he would go to prison for all his misfortunes uh, in his first season and uh, in this season like they would show him coming out and Foggy, if you remember Daredevil's friend, they would start a new law firm together. They would be, uh, he would be the reason that uh, he would, Luke Cage would get out and they will be like having a little bit of a bonding moment. And you can call me Foggy, he will say, and Luke Cage will be like, you let them. So that zinger he will start off with Luke Cage. And uh, after this, we will be showing Matt Murdock. He will be, he will come off in this season after two, two seasons of like hard work, dedications. And everything would go to waste when his love of his when the love of his life would die in, in, in his arms in the last season. So he will be obviously devastated, and he will be doing pro bono works like like free jobs for everything. And he will be he will still be a lawyer. He will be the crusader in the daylight, but in the night time he will not be the devil that he really wants to be. So he will just give up on that. So all of them would have uh, some fresh start. You know, even though if it's bad, it will be a fresh start to them. And Jessica Jones will get a case in this one and she will start to investigate. That will be the opening point of this show. Uh, Danny Rand would do the same thing. He will investigate the evil organization. He already knows a clear image, so clear path. So you have to go here, you have to go there. And so, And Jessica Jones will be confused because she doesn't want to take the case. But then she will be like, what the, whatever the hell it is, just give me, I will take it. And Luke Cage will be like, uh, he will be like your Spider-Man, the local, local hood superhero. He wants... Uh, nothing to do with your Avengers, your Strangers, Doctor Strange and you know the mystical stuff or billionaires. He doesn't want to be that. He would just want to be like Spider-Man, you know, local local brotherhood is safe, I am safe, I'm the hero for them. Just like that. He will be like that. And a detective from the police task force, she is important. She, her name is to be Misty. She will also be important in this season. So keep an eye out on her in the first episode itself. So she will be urging Luke Cage to like, um, you cannot save the brotherhood as a hero. If you don't want to, then just go and talk to the youngsters that are going on the wrong path here. Uh, get them on the right track, lead them on the right track. So be that guy. So he'll be like, okay, let's do this. And Matt Murdock will still be like, okay, I'm not going to do this. He will confess, I missed that life, but I don't want to go back to it. But uh, you know, that uh, there will be a tremor in the last like few minutes of the episode and then Everyone will be affected by it. Uh, Jessica Jones will uh, investigate, and then that investigation will lead her to some bad things. A room full of explosives, and the owner of the room escaped. So she will be like calling the police. That's first time. Like she won't. She will always take the cases. Always take uh, takes it like in her own stuff. But this time around, she called the police. Um, so. Luke Cage will be like, um, he'll go and talk to that kid, and he'll be like, you know, you you're not a, uh, you're not the hero that we need. Just get out of here. And Luke Cage will be like, I'm keeping a close eye on you. Danny Rand would investigate. So like, every one of their paths is converging to a single location. But that will not be shown in this episode. So this episode will just end like that. Just end like everyone's investigating. So you get the point where this is going. So they will end like like this. So in the second episode. 
again the investigations would go on jones will be like uh, you know this is out of my league and i'm not going to do this but she will investigate she will take some evidence from the case and then she will start investigating on her own and luke cage uh, will track down the boy and then he will be working for the shady organization that is the hand but not directly under the hand but uh, part of the hand and he will find that boy and then he will chase that boy to stop him and at the, at the same moment Danny Rand would be investigating from the other side and which would lead him to this crew uh, so they two will meet Luke Cage and Danny Rand for the first time and it will not be a pleasant meeting so they will start to fight Danny Rand would suffer a lot you know Luke Cage is unbreakable he's a bulletproof guy so when you're going martial arts on his body it's not going to work out like Luke Cage will be like taking punches after punches after puncher and uh, Danny Rand would be like dude what the fuck is wrong with you and then Luke Cage would finally put him down and say stay down I'm going to talk to that boy to get him straight uh, but at the same time like Iron Fist would you know power up his uh, arms and then they will punch him really hard punch Luke Cage really hard and that sequence would be fucking amazing because finally for the first time Luke Cage would be like some you know his jaw would be broken and you'll be like shit someone is actually trying to break my face that's never happened before so he will be like on guard for this after that so that would be a good start but we will also be shown the um, other peoples for example Jessica Jones friend would be shown in this episode in the last episode as well she would be doing a case on the tremors and then she will be spinning off her own thing like investigating into that and but the radio station where she would work will stop that so she will investigate them as well she will be like okay I am you are a shady guy so I'll try to talk about that for a while and uh, we will be shown like foggy and the um, the woman for daredevil they both will be trying to be in love but she will be like daredevil no I don't want to you to be a daredevil because I have seen you fight uh, you're a good fighter but you know you take a lot of damage and I don't want to see you dead so that's they will be showcased and we will also shown the nurse Claire uh, she will be like she knows every one of them in this room she knows Jessica she knows daredevil she knows Luke Cage she knows uh, Iron Fist so she will be like holy shit guys you're on the same side you know and she will be like the general rallying of the troops uh, behind the screens and she will be the one who gives them positive messages uh, but in this episode obviously you know none of, none of them would meet but in the end of the episode where Jessica Jones would go too far um, she will be taken to the police station and she will be like investigated really hard but she will be trying to get out of it but no she won't be let to and but then Matt Murdock will walk in and then he'll be like I'm her lawyer I will take care of this so that both sequences would be an amazing sequence um, none of the things that would happen in this episode are too racy for that matter uh, but we would be shown the villain she will be called as Alexandra and she would be like part of the hand okay that's the hand is not doesn't have any single leader she may lead them but just a part of them if you understand like the hand is like consists of five people um, so these five people I will talk about separately I told you guys about it because they are so dark so dense I cannot explain it to you in just a single episode so it, it takes time so I'll explain it to you about them in a separate video but you gotta understand like Alexandra is not a leader she is just a part of them she'll be like uh, you know we, are, we gotta move on this we need to do that we need to do this and stuff like that so she will be shown and she will be dying but they cannot die they can resurrect themselves but she will do something that is against their own wish she will have a prophecy or whatever so that will screw up the dynamics of the you know team of uh, the hand which I'll talk about in the next episode because the next episode only it will happen so this episode consists of this they will still be investigating but they will literally get to a conclusive part in the next episode they will reach that conclusive part and they will all meet so that's where it would lead so that's that the third episode would be the place where all the shit takes place literally this this is the episode where all the shit takes place uh, first seven to eight minutes they will more than that actually like more than like 10 to 15 minutes they will showcase the black sky black sky is nothing it's just a weapon that would call uh, for example they would resurrect someone and they will be the weapon normally they would resurrect themselves after they die you know the hand people the leaders of the hand so they can do uh, more stuff you know through the timeline which is a cool thing 
but this time around alexandra would have a prophecy that someone else is the black sky or whatever uh, they are the ultimate weapon they are going to help us defeat evil and whatever the shit she thinks so they will be thinking about that for a while and for that matter black sky would be electra yeah electra would die in the second season of daredevil she would be just buried but they will dug her per body they will bring her back from the dead and she will obviously doesn't know anything about you know a past life so she will be someone else and she will be trained she will be fed she will be like uh, the alexandra would treat her like a daughter and she will tell her like you are the weapon you need to kill people so automatically like she will be trained and uh, for the first 15 minutes we will be shown the black sky now obviously we will not be shown her entire power which will be shown in the later stages of the episode on the later stages of the season because obviously for dramatic reasons or whatever so this is the first sequence and then we'll be shown like Rand and Luke Cage will meet after their fight uh, Claire would be like you are on the same side get it in your head just talk about it we'll wait in a different room they will be talking about it they will be like um, I fight for the uh, local brotherhood and I fight for everyone you see you need to see the bigger picture Rand will be like uh, I have money but I'm not using it I am I'm an immortal lion person, whatever. And Cage will be like, no, no, you're not getting it right. So they will be having a difference in opinion, difference in ideology and different in everything. So they will just stop talking and then Luke Cage will just walk out of there. And Claire would also do it. But it, is, it would be hard for them. But uh, Ren would take a, would say like, I need to take a different approach. When you compare Ren in the Marvel Universe, he's not rich. By any means, he's not rich. But when you compare it with like the... TV show universe like the Defenders universe. So Ren would plan, plan to take on a different approach and his approach would be like okay compare it with the TV show universe he will be rich. When you compare the Defenders universe he will be rich. And he will be using his uh, own company and his money to track down the organization. Uh, you know the shady out front they will poster out and they will do their business beyond that behind that. So uh, he will try to break that and he will do it. And he will track them down to a single building. So that's one. Second is like Luke Cage would go to the kid's parents. He will talk to the kid himself in the prison. And he will find out about the building as well. So that's a cool thing. Jessica Jones will still be investigating. She will be like talking about different things. Uh, she will be looking at a different angle. And she will find the building names as well. And uh, Daredevil would follow Jessica Jones after their meet in the police station. Uh, Jessica Jones will take photo of him moving through the thing. They will be both tracking themselves and they will, you know, when Jessica Jones would get that, get to the building, Daredevil would walk in and then he will be like, I know this building, I know the people that we are fighting, going to be fighting against, so just get out of here. We, we need to get out of here. She will be like, no, I am a superhero myself. I can fight. I can take care of myself and blah, blah, blah. So she will be like, okay, let's do this. So all four of them would be in the same building. Danny Rand would start the fight. And I'm not going to talk about this fight scene. Sorry. You got to see it yourself. Because it's fucking amazing. Everyone will be shown quality, you know, screen time. So you will not be pissed off at the writers or pissed off at the director. Because he will showcase everyone. Like the Daredevil, uh, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. Because obviously it will be a little bit low scale for the Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Because they will join the fight later stages. Uh, so in the first like 10 minutes, uh, uh, Luke Cage and Danny Rand would take take them out themselves. So like that's there. But apart from that, after the four of them join forces, it will be a quality fight sequence. So this episode, guys, is the best episode of them all. Uh, you must watch this episode at least. And uh, because of all the hype we would get from the first two episodes, obviously if you're an Advent TV show watcher, you, you'll obviously watch the first two episodes but if you're just in for the entertainment for the thrills or the, for the action sequences just watch this one because the action sequences would be plenty and the investigative part that would take you to that place you know the build up it would be really nice so the screenplay would be simple but the build up would be amazing you gotta have at least one of them if you know the build up is simple but the screenplay is amazing uh, that would be a great show as well but inverse it that's defenders for you so the fourth episode is like you know the table conversation you know uh, i am jessica jones hey i am uh, dad devil that kind of episode so but there will be plenty of action in this one as well so you gotta wait for it because obviously it won't start with the fight 
uh, it will be from the third episode ending where they will all run out of that building and then they will come to a local place, a royal something. Uh, so a Chinese takeout place and it will be closed but they will open it and then they will be like, okay, okay, we need this place. And uh, so Danny Rand would be talking about talking in Chinese and then he will be like, okay, I'll pay you for like six months. Just let us be here. Jessica Jones will be like lifting a fucking full trunk and she will be moving it to the door to close it and stuff like that. So they will be like, all of them are individuals. Okay, they are not a team yet and they haven't talked about it. So Luke Cage and Jessica Jones are the previous ones that I've actually met. So they will be like, oh, Cage, oh, Jessica, okay, that's it. But they don't know about, you know, the Daredevil himself and Iron Fist. So it will be tough. But uh, the writers would have done a smart job of showcasing a little bit of uh, friendship before they four meet. Like Jessica Jones would know about Daredevil and like Luke Cage will know about Iron Fist. So that would really help in this scenario. But Daredevil would be like, no, no, you know what? I will take care of this myself. I'll just, because he have seen Elektra before and uh, he knows that she's dead, but she's not dead. You know, if you understand. Uh, she will see she here in the last episode. That would be just a small sequence, like 10 seconds or 20 seconds sequence, but that would be pretty important because he'll be like, I will try to do this on my own, guys. Please don't uh, worry about it. But then everyone will be like, Why are you fucking kidding me, dude? Uh, come here, tell your name and stuff like that. Jessica Jones would set him straight. You know what? Go do whatever you want. I know you're the dad devil. So if you want to help us, if you want to be in the team, be in the team. So she will be like herself, you know, just uh, don't screw, screw around, dude. Just come there. Everyone knows who you are. You know, they are two minutes from figuring it out. So just why forcing them to think when we have a, like a fight to do? Just come to us. Just say your name. Just we'll think about it. We'll talk it out. That's what they will do. Okay, the, the sequences would be not too much of anything. So they'll be like simply put, they'll constrain this episode into like this. That's one place. And four of them will be talking, talking, talking. And suddenly one person would walk in. That is Dad Devil's teacher called himself as a stick uh, he will be getting caught by the hand in the previous episodes uh, she will be like Alexandra will be like investigating him what do you know about the iron fist you know who's the iron fist uh, give it to give me uh, take me to this place and stuff like that but that would not happen in this episode uh, stick will escape from that place and then he will be like New York is gonna go to rubbles there's only like four of you to stop it and then that four are you all of them won't understand it because this all like mystical, magical thing, story made up thing. And because the hand organization is like so ancient and immortal iron fist. If you say like immortal iron fist, people are going to question you. And if you say like you're the daredevil, people are going to question you. Just just be Jessica Jones or just be Luke Cage. People will accept it. But uh, if you make up stories, even if they are true, if you say that like Kit, uh, it's going to be like fictional. And Jessica will be like, you know what? I'm going to go out. This dude is weird and I'm going to go. That sequence would be really awesome because like he will be like shut up and sit down and she'll be like oh man that's the line and she will just walk out of there. Luke Cage would try to persuade her but she'll be like nah man I'm fine I'll go out and she'll be going back to her investigation. That's where she will find out that the hand organization is existing one. They have been existing for like the past thousand thousands of years they know and Jessica will be like Okay, that old man might have saying the truth, so she will come back to that place. But before that, Alexandra would have already found the secret place they're hiding, and then they will be like, Alexandra would walk into the motel, and then he'll be like, I'm gonna kill every one of them here, except you, Iron Fist, because we need your fist and we need to open something, so you are the key, so please come with us. So he will be like, No, no, I'm not doing that because I don't trust you and I don't trust any one of you in our organization. She'll be like, okay, choose, you choose fine and I'll show you my strong thing. Uh, and then Electra would walk in. So her name is Black Sky in this one. She'll be like fucking kicking everyone's ass. And uh, the fight would about to be started. But then Jessica Jones will walk in with a car, just simply. And she will smash Electra down to the floor. She will uh, walk inside and then she'll be like, hmm, someone missed me. And she, everyone will be ready to fight. And that's where the cut will begin because the fifth episode will start with a fight. So the episode will be like all talk, talk, talk. But this is the 
anchor episode you know the first three episode will make sense in this one and the rest of the episodes that are going to be coming will make sense because of this one so if you skip this one you will not understand the entire series and then you will be blaming on the comment section of a different youtubers list like this is a shit season and everything no it's not you gotta watch the you know entire thing possibly perfectly so fourth episode is important third episode is action-packed first two season first two episodes are like uh, touch and go there uh, you can get bored easily and then you can quit the season or you will be, you'll be really intrigued and watch the season so flip of a coin but I'm a Marvel fan I, I would say like this is the best four episodes there are some negatives which I'll be talking about separately this is just like a review uh, what happened in this first four episodes and everything so I'll give a rating for each episode separately so first episode 7 out of 10 you know it was not that exciting that was like I was ex expecting too much maybe but 7 out of 10 fits right because it's just an introduction uh, season so fine and good the second episode also 7 out of 10 because again the investigative part is really fine but they didn't take the uh, important aspects from all the different heroes they just concentrated on the heroes if you get if you catch my drift you know they just concentrated on daredevil they just concentrated on jessica jones they just concentrated on luke cage and iron fist which is a good good thing you, you need to clap and appreciate them for that but if you think about it all those shows were successful because of the side characters you know daredevil when you think about it uh, the scenes where the lawyer sequences the the sequences in the courtroom and his emotion between being a daredevil or not being a daredevil and showcasing it to your friends or not and same way in jessica jones like her a childhood friend a foster sister helping her with all the things and like same with luke cage you know claire uh, helping him out and you know in the iron fist thing her, his comp her companion would be like um, fighting for him protecting him and everything so all of them should have been more showcased in this season entirely but the second episode would be like more of these four heroes than the other so 7 out of 10 but the third episode I will give you 10 out of 10 because the investigative part I thought they would like stretch it out like 13 episodes long so it would be like so much of a stress but they didn't they kind of uh, compacted it to like 8 episodes and then third episode would be like the investigator uh, for all the fours will be like completed they are just gonna get in there fight it out amazing sequences there and the fourth episode I'll give 9 out of 10 one because action sequences will be like shortened out in this one because talk 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 but if you really listen if you really watch the fourth episode you'll understand a lot about the lore of you know the immortal iron fist how he was made and what are the things that he needs to be done for fighting the hand and stuff more about the hand themselves so informative episode and the anchor episode 9 out of 10 so must watch go watch it right now and the next review will be out on Sunday I would think yeah one day after this and after that I'll mainly concentrate on the hand uh, the negatives the positives and everything so thank you guys for watching hit that like button if you like this video share the video with your friends and family subscribe to your channel for everything that is movies TV shows reviews reaction theories and everything uh, and comment down below on what your thoughts are on this episode particularly that uh, the review and do you agree with my ratings like 7, 7, 9, 10 and 9 do you agree with them or do you have your own ratings do you have your own thought process on this one so please let me know in the comment section down below we will, have, we will talk it out and um, that's it guys I'll see you on the next one bye